it is what it is what it is. Do you know who it is? It's your boy the Moose. Moose Squad. Let's kick it. All right. This is gig log number 51. <laughs> Tomorrow will be 50. It's 51. 50. Thanks a lot, Van Halen. All right. Check it out. We're going to rack, stack, pack. We're going to pack, stack, be ready to attack for today. So let's get busy. Yeah. Hey. Moose on the loose showing up to the party. Got four or five dudes in the room, so we party. The moose go up to the DJ stand. Everybody stand up, they gon' clap their hands. We pullin' up to the wedding and the moose still loose. He the one, he the boy, and he two step two. Got this music in tune. Yeah. Running DJ, keep the party cool. Ain't nobody going home, they been jumping on their feet. Party to the beat, we gon' party every week. And this moose still long, we gon' party every week. Yeah, long as he gon' be the DJ. Okay, so now we're going to play Tetris. Um, usually what happens is I put the camera on a different angle, but I put it at this angle because I had to charge it. Okay, now we're at the school, and over here, there's a lot of things going on I'm going to point out. Let me go back so I can point those out. Right over here, you see the tents. Um... Let's see if I can figure out how to, um, oh, I know. Right. Here where you see the one is the tent. This is the best way to point it out. This is the police tent. And then over here is where all the the games and stuff are. So I use the one as an example. So um, you'll be seeing the one again. Um, I didn't I didn't put an arrow in here, so I just use that. But um, simpler, I think. Okay, let's go back into the video here. And as you can see, I pan around. There's no students here. This is just the beginning of the event. I wanted to show you all the different bouncy houses they have. And they have like nine more in the back. They had like a bunch of bouncy houses. So they had a big budget for this event. And the problem, that the thing I liked about this event, it didn't cost a, not one dime. The only thing that cost was the food trucks. And the music didn't record, but I really thank God for that, because I, I really don't dig the music anyway, and when I do, when I do the parties and stuff and the weddings, um, you'll be able to hear the music, but when I do background like this, it's really nice, because then I can talk about exactly what's going on. Now, this gentleman that just arrived, this guy right here, that just arrived to put his hand up, he sat there. The whole, pretty much the whole two and a half hours he sat there. And he, at first he's just sitting there. Then he kicks his shoes off and takes his sock off and he crosses his legs and he just sits there. Listening to the music. His feet going there for the music. I played nothing but 80s vibe music, pretty much. Um, I played 80s. I stuck in the 80s genre all the way. I did not go out of the 80s at all. I put in a couple 90s hits and a couple 2000s that were, were, were up to date, but I stayed in the 80s. And, and the reason for this is, is because I was there to get background music and make announcements. That's pretty much, it's just like going to a corporate event um, make an announcement, 
every once in a while and play music in the background to get that vibe, to get to attract people to the event. Well, this was attracting the adults because the kids could care less what goes on playing. Now, at the beginning of this event, I did do um, I did do the cheerleaders, and I had a, a minute and thirteen seconds of ACDC coming in, and then right when ACDC cut off, it flipped into um, some rap, which you didn't want the rap. So this guy, now I look at him, he's got his legs crossed, and I have my cooler sitting right over there, and he looks in the cooler and he goes, Gatorade, and he gives me a thumbs up, like, like I'm, I'm doing right, because no, 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 this is cool. But anyway, and, and then in the background, you can see the police. The police will go back and forth through the vent. They would bring the dog out. They brought the dog out twice or three times, and the dog pretty much got to socialize with the kids. They let the kids pet the dog, which was pretty crazy. I've never seen a canine unit actually get petted. Um, well, I think it's because um, the commands that the owner gives the dog um, are pretty much uh, not into training dogs, but I wanted to become a trainer. Because being a canine unit, the owner trains the dog, but usually he's German. And I want to explain this to you. They usually use German Shepherds for a reason. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's why did I stop it? I stop it, no. Let's get back into it, hold on. Hold on, stop. No. Get back to where I was. I was really interrupted by myself. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine, plenty of rain. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna pause it there for a second. And so. When they train the dogs, they train them the dogs in... Now, why they use German Shepherds is because they train the dog in German. Because the dog is familiar with uh, some... There's something in the dog... Um, any kind of dog can be trained in different languages. But for some reason, German Shepherds are very, very prone to German. So they use German techniques and, and everything else because they're using German Shepherds, of course. And in German, German Shepherds, if you do history, they, they came from Germany, is where they came from. Um, Gestapo's used them and, and all that other stuff back in the day. Now, to sniff out people, and pretty much, they were used for bad for a long time. And now they're used for good purposes, but they, they're, they're highly trained dogs that can sniff out not only people, but they can sniff out drugs. Now, the deal is, is they get the dogs, they get the dogs to sniff out the drugs. This is what the turnoff for me was, is they, they particularly, and I wouldn't say get them high, but they pretty much, they, they embed them in that smell. So they know what the smell for. Um, now, they're cadaver dogs, and then there's, um, then there's the police dog. Now, the cadaver dog is different. The cadaver dog doesn't go running around sniffing for drugs. The cadaver dog knows the scent of human, hum, a scent of human. So they pretty much get them around rotten flesh. I'm sorry to say it that way. But they take them to the cadaver farms. And they train them in the cadaver farms. That way they can get that that scent. So that's what a cadaver dog does. So that's the differences. Um, I know this is a DJ channel, but um, I wanted to talk about that because uh, that's something I wanted to be when I grew up. But anyways, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's right off there. Subscribe to my channel.
Ring my bell for more notifications for videos like this and count those others. Leave a comment below what you thought. Smash that like button. And peace.